I fear we still have a lot of danger that we face from the the people who are, are responsible for uh, making that law stick because I don't think they have the, the moral fiber. And there are a lot of reasons for that, as did the folks of days past. So, yes, you are you are sm- you got the the hammer and you're hitting that nail. The, the Republican Party is completely different. MAGA. Yeah. In fact, I'll go all the way back to the Tea Party. The yeah. Tea Party started the destruction of the Republican Party. Yeah. That was the beginning yeah. of the end. And now Tea Party has grown into maggot. Yeah. And we do not have the same Republican Party. We don't even have. The same people representing the Republican Party because yeah. the old crowd, they're leaving. Ken Buck is like, see you, dude, I'm out. And he's not even like <laughs> waiting. He's like, I'm out now. Yeah. And he's, of course, a byproduct of that is he's screwing over, you know, Handy Bobert, uh, baby <laughs> Bobert. But, you know, she doesn't need to be in in office anyway so that's a that's a great unintended consequence way to go ken the the last thing he's doing is actually helping our country because maggot it goes back to something we were talking about on the last show i think uh the quality of the character of the person so we have these people in office um and we thought we had it bad with paul ryan and uh boehner and that set and and Rand paul you know, who's who's still wearing that curly toupee in, in office. But <laughs> he we thought we had it bad back then. And we did. But we did not understand that this was the chrysalis. And the next the, they were going to level up like a Pokemon. We <laughs> we didn't realize that we were going to have like, you know, Charizard was or it's Charizard, the big one. I don't know which one, but we thought we had oh, the cute goodness, little I don't know. We thought we had the cute little flame one. No, it's now Charizard. It's the huge one. And what are we going to do? We're going to vote. And we've got Republicans saying, if he's convicted of something, I couldn't possibly. So delay, delay, delay. He's calling into question all these things with even with Aileen Cannon. This is part of a delay tactic. This is this is just your kid saying i need to drink a water i need to go potty they don't want to go to bed but you know it's bedtime they want another story they're just not <laughs> tired this is what he's doing yeah i'm glad aileen cannon became the adult for once and put her foot down uh but his purpose at least with these trials is to keep them delayed or keep them off the books like he did with jack smith um so nobody is going to say he was elected as a convicted felon It strikes me that it, it, it's so interesting that Ken Buck is stepping away, that mm-hmm. that he's resigning because this is like it was like two or three votes now that they have a margin of in the House of Representatives, and just all these rats are are bailing out of this sinking ship because they know how absolutely like screwed uh, they are going to be as a, a mm-hmm. result of all this. Uh, MAGA nonsense, and anyone with an ounce of brains in the Republican Party is just getting out of there as soon as they possibly can, because they know it's going to be an unmanageable nightmare. And and fortunately, I think this means as a result that the Democrats uh, are almost certainly going to retake the House of Representatives. And in the worst case scenario, if Trump, Trump becomes president, there will be a bulwark against that because the Senate doesn't look like it's going uh, particularly well at the moment. So that is, there, there's hope there. There really is like very practical hope that the House can act as a, a, a backstop if the worst were to happen. And hopefully it doesn't because uh, very bad things could happen even that don't have to go through the House of Representatives if Trump gets back into the Oval Office. It is not going to be good and we desperately have to fight against that this year boy do we have to fight yeah like never before people are recognizing that it's not just the president that's important and it's not just your uh federal representative who's important but your state legislature your governor your lieutenant governor your state attorney general um 
the person, the superintendent of your schools, all of these are elected officials, the sheriff, all of them. And they are important yeah. because these people are the people who are making your life a living hell. Some of them it's, are telling us that we can't get a divorce <laughs> under certain circumstances. Yes, I talked about this on my last show and it's just so, so cringe. It's so oh my god! This, uh, it Missouri. goes all the way back to 1835. Yeah, that's right. Oh my that god! Inter- I, tr- I I chose the story uh, and I forget you were talking about this already. Oh my god! No, I I really want to. Talk- I want to keep talking about it. Look, I have my tube side. I got my kids. I'm good. I'm out of the game. I got no skin in this. But mm-hmm. as a woman who has a uterus, mm-hmm. who has used it in the past, <laughs> who has. To, who made two children who will use theirs in the future. Mm-hmm. This is absolutely ridiculous. And and it's not just abortion. It's not just mifepristone that's coming. The, the Supreme yeah. Court is going to talk about it in June. Yeah. That is the drug, by the way, for those of you in the back, is the drug <laughs> that is uh, prescribed by your doctor when you have a an abortion, a DNC. Yeah. And not just... An emergency, but it is a a um a drug that you have to get a prescription for. It's not something you can just get. Yeah. So they want to make sure that hospitals cannot offer these services any longer. You yeah. can't just go out of state to get your abortion. Yeah. It so it, and it and it is so frightening what 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 they are doing. Like I, I it, it, again, this is it. Yes, it <laughs> it's so clear that this is not about the life of the child it has nothing no. to do with that because they don't care what once the child is born they they have absolutely no con, no concern uh for that as we've demonstrated and this missouri law that you were talking about last week and which like really caught my attention this week again it mm-hmm. like you can't get divorced if you're pregnant oh my god that is and you know why insane because the law in their state states that the baby has to be born to establish um, paternity Mm. and uh, child support and uh, visitation. Now, all of these three things can be done while the baby is in utero. I'm going to surprise you. As of 1925, we have been using DNA tests to determine paternity in when the child is still still in utero okay okay yeah no really seriously yeah now now this state decided they don't trust in the 70s they don't trust i understand that judges you're not a medical person you didn't go to medical school you probably (laughs) failed at operation games so i get it you went into the law it's your jam you don't understand, so maybe you don't have trust. But the people who do, the people who know, have been saying that there is, it's nearly 100% efficacy. It's like 98 point something. It's it's insane. Yeah, who, who knew that Dr. Nick ran successfully for the Missouri State Legislature? I, we I, I even no created, idea. Maury Povich created an entire career based on the efficacy <laughs> of this test. Yes, Okay. Yeah. So they want to see the baby. Why do they want to see the baby? That sounded a little weird to me. Why do you want to see the baby? Because if the baby's not a paler shade of pale and the father wants to question, he can. And at that point, the mother is in trouble financially, emotionally. um, And as far as the state helping her, they don't care. They want to defund schools. They want to yep. defund programs to help her house and feed and medicate this child. So, yeah, but well, if you are absolutely correct, it has nothing to do. You yeah. know what it has to do with my, my husband and I were talking about this the other night. Mm. We women control the species. Absolutely correct. That is why you created the patriarchy, not you, mm-hmm. Beowulf, but men. Yeah, not well, you, man, in particular. Hey, I, 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 I was I was inducted from the time of, of birth, <laughs> and and you know I've been trying to distance myself, you know, for the last for the last twenty years or so. But but boy, it is yeah, you're absolutely right. It is a big organization designed because women, like as you say, control the species, and we have done our our darndest over the last several thousand years to try 
and and, and make sure that we retain control in spite of that. And and we have all these incredibly elaborate systems for trying to do that. And this is one of them. This whole abortion debate is one of them. The whole the whole life. I mean, I, a half of the half of the if not all of the church is frankly dedicated to this this project. And it boy, it is just yeah, it it it, it, it pervades virtually every aspect of our lives. It really does because the natural state of things is. Excuse me, new life comes from women. That's that's the bottom line. That's where it, that's where it comes from. And you, you you need to have a society if it's to be like functional and effective and humane that is centered around that and the bringing of new life. If you actually want to be pro life as opposed to being a, a patriarchal liar, then you will structure things so that life is is nurtured and cared and 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 preserved and extended and and made decent and humane and those are not the things that these people want they no. want to assert the dominance of their own sex so yes to your point if you cared republicans about the sanctity of life and you weren't just pro birth because yeah. that's what i think you are yeah um then why is arkansas Saying that children can work longer hours. Why Why can children work, yeah. period? Yeah. But they can work longer hours during the week when they're supposed to be, I don't know, sleeping for, and studying for the test. Yeah. Uh, and children don't necessarily need to eat. In some other states, they say, hey, you know, the school lunch program for free during COVID um, and right after with uh, – with, um, and that was taken away from us immediately. But yeah. I thought that that made absolute sense. We are forcing these kids to go and sit somewhere for six yeah. hours. Give them, a, give them a lunch. Is it really that big of a deal? But no, they don't care about the child afterward. No. Except that the child is able to perform the function and the function is for capitalism. That's right. That's oh. right. They're of the every sperm is sacred uh, school of, <laughs> of politics. I mean, if, if you if you remember that sequence, you know, they're all the little I love money by that. <laughs> the, all the little street urchins hopping around. And what are they doing? Yeah. They, they, you know, when they're not dancing around, they're sitting in front of a, a, a machine or a loom or whatever mm-hmm. it happens to be. And that's what they want to go back to in Arkansas and a lot of other states. You know, I, I have. Um, I'm going to give it a try. I'm taking a risk here. Here's okay. what I play every time I talk about one of these stories. Okay, I don't know how much of that you heard, but good. Okay, you heard some of it there. So, yes, that is what they want to take us back to. They want to take us back to the Volga Boatman. They want to take us back to the dark satanic mills that William Blake was talking about. They want to take us back to like to the three and four and five year olds like climbing up chimneys and and getting horrible diseases that's what they want they want to not only you know eliminate the the era of progressivism in the united states eliminate the 20th century they want to eliminate the enlightenment and bring us back to medieval times and i'm not talking about the themed uh you know uh restaurant performance venue i'm talking about actual medieval times Absolutely, yes. Because women were property. Exactly. And even still to this day, it's in how we react when we find out that the couple have hyphenated their name or that he took her name. Mm-hmm. And we can't help it. You know, we are we were raised in this society. So we have unintentional yeah. biases. And it is in the fact that in in Oregon, yeah. when you get married in the state of Oregon, it says right on your on your marriage certificate that uh, you are not chattel, the woman that she is not considered chattel. Why do they cool. even have to clarify that? Well I, well, I didn't know that because I was—I happen to be married in the state of California, but oh, I'm, I'm going to okay. have to check that out. 
<laughs> woman, woman is not. I mean, it, it I, says I guess, on the marriage certificates uh-huh. that it's okay. Well, 